All right, this is going to be a tutorial on um, basically the same as my part one through four, except it's going to use the built-in particle system, particle world, and After Effects CS3 for people who don't have trap code. Okay, so what we need to do is basically you might want to watch my part one of the part one through four tutorial to learn how to do the eyes until you get to the particle part. So what we're going to do, basically I did the eye glow. have a null here, which I tracked the eyes and applied the data to my null. And it, gives, it allows me to put some mass on the eyes and make them uh, stay on there. Which we're going to use, we made a duplicate of it, and we're going to use to put our heat vision with. Make it track and stay on the eyes. Okay, so we first need to make a camera. So let's go there. Get a camera. Now we need to make a solid. Okay. Right click on it. Effect, simulation, CC particle world. Get rid of, turn off the floor under grid settings. Because we don't need that. Go to physics. Change explosion to direction access for animation. Uh, birth rate, turn up to say 50 for now. Longevity, we're going to turn to 0 0.01. Uh, velocity, turn to 0. And gravity, 0. Extra, 0. Uh, what else? Particles, we're going to change max capacity to 100 for now. Change particle type to shaded sphere. And size variation, turn to zero for now. Uh, everything else looks good. Okay, so now all we need to do is pretty much size. We have to move it into place for one and also size it. So first, go to the camera. See our particles. This is basically going to be as small as we can get the particles. So to kind of turn the particles up to maybe, let's go start off with a 0.5 for birth and death. 0.5. Uh, make sure, yeah, we have the shaded sphere. All right, we're pretty much good. Set it. Set the blend mode to add just to get that over with. All right, now basically we're gonna go to the camera. Oh, expand its layer. Go to transform, and for the position, we need to change the Z position to make these particles smaller. We need them further away from the camera to get a, uh, the right kind of size stream that we want. So basically just figure out what way you need to go and make it, this is going to be your starting point, so try to make it small, it's a little bit smaller than the inside of the eye. Uh, right there, so we have a nice, so we can have a nice small one, we can adjust it to wherever we need it from there. Alright, there, good. That's small enough. Okay, now we just need to take our anchor point of the solid that we made and apply the particle layer to. Go to transform, and we need to take the anchor point and move it into position. But we also have to watch our layer and make sure our layer is scaled up enough to where no matter where we put the anchor point, basically the particle, um, that the layer stays outside bigger than our comp, our footage. Or else, say if we shoot particles down this way, if our comp ends here, we're going to see that cutoff line. And we don't want that. We've got to make sure it just stays bigger. Okay, so let's go ahead and just make it bigger. We'll start off, we'll just start off at like 150. And go ahead and from there and move it. Because we know we're going to have to make it bigger anyway, unless your thing winds up right in the right exact spot. And then go ahead and just move the anchor point like this. And then link your particles layer to the null object that you made. This way it's going to follow the uh, null. And just run through it and just make sure that the layer is smaller or bigger than your footage, which obviously it's not. So we got to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's get this positioned and scaled. We'll leave it at 158 scale. 
Now let's get in there. I know that's going to be good, so I'm just going to get zoom in, try to get this right where I need it. Keep moving the anchor point around. Uh, there. Wait a minute, let me reset this. Reset my position. I accidentally uh, hit the position without looking. So let's get that where it needs to go. Whoops. This way. This way. Just be careful. Yeah, don't move the position. Only the anchor point one. Okay, get that right. That's good enough for the tutorial. Okay, so that's set up. Um, now we can go. We already linked it to the null, so it should follow. Yep, it follows it just fine. Perfect. And it stays, the layer stays bigger than the footage, so we don't have to worry about the particles not, or getting cut off anywhere. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set this up, um, our particles up. Can leave everything else the way it is. Camera was pulled back. Um, I may want to move that up actually a little bit. I don't kind of like it to where it is. Just a smidge. I'm a little picky about that. It's hard to just leave it. Still, maybe even a little bit over. Go over. There we go. All right, we'll just leave it there, and let's. Minimize this there. Okay, now we got to change our velocity. So let's go ahead and turn the velocity up. Let's zoom back so we can see the footage, of course. Turn it up till you get outside. It goes past the layer. It's going to be a different setting for every footage depending on how far away the person is. Then go ahead and turn up your birth rate until you get kind of a solid uh, layer or a layer of particles. Okay, good. Then we'll go ahead and maybe adjust the opacity down a little bit just to where it's a little see-through. Just a little bit. Change size variation a teeny bit. Let's try to go in so you can actually see what's going on. I'll move it into position. Just play with the variance, start off at zero, and just go up just to where you see a slight shift in the particles. Not too much. Uh, let's change transfer mode to add. Okay, so that's good. We already have the fiery look going. Um, try our max opacity, turn that down a little bit. Or up, possibly, I don't know. Let's Let's try it there. Just want to see how this is going to affect when we change or add our glow to it. Uh, I mean, let's see. Anything else? Inherit gravity. Nope, we're good. Okay, now the one thing you might want to play with is your extra setting. Kind of, it just kind of just gives a filly look around all the particles. You can, you know, actually make them go faster if you want. Just spreads the particles around a little bit. Let's try to bring it back just a little bit, just so we get a little bit extra fill above the top, make it a little fatter up there. All right, let's see. That looks good. Comes in, shoots them. Okay, now let's see, let's go ahead and add a blur to this. Go effect, blur, fast blur, just to because this uh, trap code allows you to really tweak your particles to get get the look that you want a little bit more. This one's not a bad plug in. It works really good for the effect actually, but you can't really do a lot with your particles. Uh, you don't have the line graphs to draw special particles, you know, so you, you don't have a lot of options there. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and add a fast blur to it to kind of thicken the particles up a little bit. So repeat edge pixels, make sure that's checked, and just, just add a slight blur to them. It, you know, it just kind of helps a little bit. Maybe two. We'll try two on that. That's good, because you want the texture there. You don't want them blurred too much. Let's try even a 1. Yeah, that might work right there. Let's go back to 2. Let's see how that looks. All right, let's try it at 2 for now. Maybe increase the size of the particles. Possibly not. 